grade school. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to do the special carrier alert award. Nassim Elias of South Macomb, Michigan, branch 4374. Here with Nassim is his wife, Lisa Youssef, and his branch president, Michael Hendren, for his second appearance. And let me note at the outset that we have here not only an alert letter carrier, but a learned one as well. And soon you'll find out why. And I'll note something else as well. If you're paying attention, you'll have observed that Nassim belongs to the same Detroit area branch as Steve. I'll note that before we're done today, Michiganders will have every right to feel a special pride in their letter carriers today. Well, delivering his route on August 14th of last year in Sterling Heights, which he also calls home, Nassim saw a distraught woman clutching her infant. He recognized her as someone that he had just met a few weeks ago, an Egyptian native who spoke little English. He had told her in Arabic, if you need any help, let me know. I will be on this route once a week. And on this day, she very much needed help because something was wrong with her baby. She had to run into the street to try to get a passerby to call the police, but the man had ignored her, and she had run back to her house, screaming. Fortunately, the scene was on the route. She knows that I speak her language, he said, so when she saw me, she yelled, please call the police. The baby is not breathing. Nassim called 911 and stayed on the phone with them until the police arrived. He then remained at the scene to translate to the officers and to the medical team what the frantic mother was saying. A couple of weeks later, when the mother and child returned from the hospital, he checked on them. And as Nassim recounted it, the mother, crying with gratitude, said, God sent me to me from nowhere. The carrier was happy that he could spare her and her family the pain of losing a young loved one, something he knows all too well, having lost his 13-year-old brother to a car bomb in his native Iraq in 2006. I still remember that day like it was yesterday, he said. Now seeing a two-year letter carrier who arrived in the United States in 2009, says he was just doing his job. The Postal Service has a lot of employees, and each one has different skills and experience, and this is one of them, he said. When a mailman speaks more than one language, it can help people like this mom. What we found out is that he speaks more than English and Arabic. In all, he speaks six languages, the others being Turkish, Kurdish, and two ancient Middle Eastern languages. The heroes of the year judges were impressed by what they called the unique quality of the incident and the way it underlines the importance of diversity. Diversity is a gift that we should embrace and be grateful for, they said. No one else in that situation could have helped. Languages enable Nassim to help on his route, especially the two ancient languages of Chaldean and Assyrian. Close? Okay. When customers have questions about the mail or what a letter signifies, and when he's able to inform businesses about the value of the postal service, like through Customer Connect. As you perhaps know, the Detroit area has the country's largest concentration of Middle East residents. Nassim says he's proud of the job he has. Delivering the mail is not only putting letters in the mailbox, it's about delivering to people news and needs, love and care, he said. I am proud to be an employee of the United States Postal Service. Well, let me tell you something. We are equally proud to have you among our ranks, 
So let's congratulate Nassim Elias on receiving NALC's Special Carrier Alert Hero of the Year Award. to make this happen and to be look professional like this one. Um, from my side, uh, I'll keep up the good work. Nothing but the good work, because being the best, it's not my fault. But working and giving the best, it's always my fault. Thank you so much, and God bless you. 